Hey everybody, I'm Ken Jack from Lights Camera Barstool, and today I'm going to talk to you about Raya and the Last Dragon, which is available on Disney Plus Premiere Access. In case you're not familiar with the way Premiere Access works, you just pay a $30 one-time fee to stream the movie at home. The Premiere Access window for this closes on May 4th. If you want to wait until it comes to general streaming as part of your regular Disney Plus subscription, you're going to have to wait until June 5th. This is a spoiler-free review, and by the end of it, I hope I can kind of shed some light on whether you want to pay for it or wait for it. The movie is centered around Raya, who is a warrior princess. Her goal is to find the last dragon in order to help unite her entire world against this evil, ravenous plague called the Droon. This journey leads her all across Kumandra, where she kind of picks up some misfits along the way and makes her own little team. And while she's on this journey, she also has to escape the clutches of Namari, who's her arch nemesis. I really like this movie for a lot of reasons. First off, we'll start with the voice cast. I think Kelly Marie Tran is absolutely fantastic in the role of Raya, and she helps make the character really unique to the Disney animated lore. Raya is a complex and layered character that has a lot of trust issues, but also a lot of like swagger to her. And Kelly Marie Tran does a great job conveying that to us as an audience. Aquafina voices the last dragon, and I think the best term I can use to describe her performance is that it is extremely well measured. She does the goofiness that she's well known for extremely well, but is also like really good in the dramatic moments. And by the way, if you are unsure of Aquafina as a dramatic actress, I highly recommend and you watch The Farewell on Amazon Prime. And lastly, I want to shout out Jemmy Chan, who voiced Namari, who had a sort of equally layered role compared to Raya, but did it without kind of stealing any focus. On the story side, I really like how this movie was put together. On its face, it almost kind of reminds me of Moana in that there's you know, a young woman setting out to save her clan and her peoples, and she has animal companions on the way, and also kind of meets a godlike character to help her achieve her goal. But there are a lot of differences. One of which being that this is not a musical, and in fact there's like a very heavy focus on action adventure. And I think that action adventure, epic fable, is not really something we're used to from Disney animation. On the technical end, this movie also just looks stunning. There's beautiful colors and even better animation that captures action, it captures landscapes, it captures facial features in a way that, again, I don't think I've ever seen in Disney animation before. Really, the only place I dock points is that there's a little bit too much exposition and a few too many moving parts. And while I think that was necessary for the world building, and the world is fantastic, fantastic, I do think they could have gotten away with introducing a few less characters and maybe a few less settings. So while I don't think it's Disney S tier, I do think it's right on the cusp. And I think that the ultimate seal of approval I can give this movie is that it is an original property and I wanted to see more of it. I want to see sequels, I want to see branch offs, I want to see other stories set in the world of Kumandra. And I'll tell you right now, it is extremely rare for me to watch an original property and think I want to see a sequel. $30 does seem a little bit steep, so I understand if you're hesitant there. But a trip to the movies, if you're getting concessions, usually costs around that ballpark price anyway. Personally, I think it's worth it. I gave Rye and the Last Dragon 89 out of 100 on MovieRankings.net. And make sure to use MovieRankings.net to see my scores for 5,000 other movies and where to stream them. Remember, MovieRankings.net is the only place you can find out what to stream and where to stream it. Let me know what you thought of Rye and the Last Dragon in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and all of that fun stuff. I'm Ken Jack. See you next time.